What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys one of the best stretch big builds in NBA 2K20. So first of all, you do want to make your position a power forward and not center. I'll show you guys why later in the video. Once you do get to the screen with all these pie charts, you want to go to the one with the majority of the pie chart in the shooting category. When you do get to the screen with the physical profile, honestly it's up to you. So if you do play twos a lot and you're going to run the big man on the twos, or if you're going to run the big man on the threes or in pro-am, you're going to want to choose one of these down here with higher vertical and strength so you won't get bodied as much and so you can get rebounds. But because I'm going to run this build at the two on threes in park, I'm going to choose this top one so I get a lot of speed and acceleration. When it comes to attributes, first, I'm going to max out all of my shooting stats. As you can see, I'll have an 89.3, which will go higher once I do lower my wingspan, and a 95 post fade. And honestly, I'm going to lower my free throw a little bit, but I'm going to put it back up right here so I can have 30 shooting badges. When it comes to finishing for stretch bigs, honestly, they don't need much because I'm not going to be in the paint that much. But I am going to max out my driving layup and driving dunk. And standing dunk, I might max out later. But for now, I'm just going to leave it how it is. I'm going to put my passing accuracy up so I don't throw bad passes. I'm going to put my ball handling up so I don't get stripped. Post moves, I'm just going to leave alone for now. But when it comes to defense on any big man, I'm going to put interior defense and perimeter defense up. Because when I am at the two, sometimes I'm going to be guarding big men. Sometimes I'm going to be guarding like small forwards. So I do need both of those based on the game modes that I play. I'm also going to max out my lateral quickness and my block and my defensive rebounding so i do have 60 attribute points left i think i'm gonna put the rest to steal so i can get steals in the passing lanes and for the rest of the points i would put it to standing dunk but i'm not gonna get any badges anyway and i don't think i'm gonna be doing any standing dunks i'm not gonna be sitting in the paint so i don't really need that i'm gonna put the rest to post moves just so i can get six playmaking badges and with the remaining two i'm gonna upgrade offensive rebound when it does come to the height honestly i think the best height for a stretch big is six foot eleven because as you can see, from 7 foot to 6 11, you do lose a lot of speed just by going up that extra inch to 7 feet. So I think 6 11 is much better, especially for stretch bigs. And for the weight, if you ended up choosing one of the physicals where you get a ton of strength, you're going to want to max your weight probably just because that would better fit your play style so you don't get bodied as much. But I am going to be running at the two, so I'm going to minimize my weight all the way down so I can be really fast on the court. And when it comes to wingspan, honestly, since I am running the two, I'm just going to minimize my wingspan and I'll end up having an 89 three-pointer on a 6'11 stretch big, which I think is pretty good, especially with the new badge system. When it comes to takeover, obviously spot up shooter is the best for this. However, with my playstyle, I think I'm going to choose playmaker takeover on this build because I do have an 89.3 and I'm actually really good at timing my jump shot. So I don't need that extra plus 10 to my three pointer, which will make it from an 89 to a 99. I don't think I need that. I'd rather have playmaker takeover so that way I can end up dropping people and getting wide open for three. So honestly, it is preference. You guys probably do want to choose spot up shooter, but with my play style, I think playmaker takeover will be better for this build. When it comes to finishing badges, I think I'm going to choose slithery finisher just because stretch bigs aren't good at contact layup, so this is avoiding contact, or fast break finisher will basically just get my takeover up faster. And after looking at these two badges, I think I'm going to go with slithery finisher just because it'll make more of my layups open instead of contested. When it comes to shooting badges, for sure I'm going to do Catch and Shoot Hall of Fame, Corner Specialist Hall of Fame, Dead Eye Hall of Fame. I'm going to also put on Deep Fades Hall of Fame because I have a 95 post fade, as well as Range Extender Hall of Fame. That badge is going to be amazing. This badge, Green Machine, I feel like it's not that great of a badge because I don't know how much the bonus is. But I'm just going to put it to gold because I do green a lot of my shots on my playmaking post score in 2K19, who has a 63 three-pointer. So I'm pretty sure I'll be able to green a lot more on this stretch big build. I think I'm also going to put hot start to gold because if I do make my first shot, it'll be much easier to make more. And then quick draw, I'm going to put to gold. And out of these three badges, I'm going to put one of them to Hall of Fame because Hot Zone Hunter, it's a good badge, but I'm going to be shooting from everywhere on the court since I do have Range Extender Hall of Fame, so it's not that useful. Ice and Veins is just a free throw badge. This is just juking off ball, I believe. Volume Shooter is good, but I feel like I'm not going to be taking the most shots on my team since I'm not going to be the primary ball handler. Tireless Shooter is also good, but I don't think I'm really going to get tired. But this actually is a very good badge. Pump Fake Maestro is not all that good. Pick and popper is good, but I don't really do pick and pops that much. And flexible release, I can time my jumper, so I'm good with that. Steady shooter. Steady shooter is actually a weird badge because it reduces the penalty for contested shots, but it also reduces the bonuses for open shots. So if your shot selection isn't the best, I would suggest using steady shooter. But other than that, it's not that good of a badge. And then clutch shooter, I don't really need an increased ability to knock down shots in clutch moments. I think I'm fine without it. So 
for my Hall of Fame badge out of these three, I think I'm going to go Green Machine because with Quick Draw Gold, I think that's good enough and Hot Start won't always work. It's only if you don't miss your first shot, so I don't think it's worth it to put that badge to Hall of Fame. So these are my badges. I have Hall of Fame Catch and Shoot, Green Machine, Corner Specialist, Dead ID Fades, and Range Extender, as well as Gold, Quick Draw, and Hot Start. When it comes to Playmaker badges, for sure, I'm going to put Unpluckable to Gold, and I think this is useful for number one, when I have Playmaker Takeover, I'm going to be dribbling, I don't want to get stripped. And number two, when I am in the post, because I do have a 95 post fade, I'm going to be in the post a decent amount. And for my second badge, low-key break starter might be a good badge, because if I do get rebounds, I can just chuck the ball down the court. I did have that badge in 2K19 on my post score, and that badge is amazing. Downhill is also really good. It's kind of like break starter, but for running the break, so like one-man fast break. So instead of just passing it down the court, you can just run down the court really fast. I think I'm actually going to do quick first step, though, because this badge... It's not the best for big men because big men aren't explosive to begin with, but I do a lot of jab steps, so I feel like this will be very good for my play style. Last but not least, when it comes to defensive badges, I think I'm going to put clamps on just so my perimeter defense can be a little bit better. And I don't know what to do for my second one because Intimidator is a very good badge. Same with Interceptor. Pickpocket's good, but that's more for guards. I either want to do Rim Protector so that my defense is really good or... I might do the box out badge. I'm not really sure because there are actually a lot of good defensive badges. Rebound chaser is also good. I think what I'm going to do is put clamps to silver, put rebound chaser to silver, and then put rim protector to silver. I think that's my best bet. And if you do decide that you're mainly going to run this big man at the three, you probably don't need this clamps badge because you are going to be guarding bigs more than guards. But I'm just putting it on because sometimes I'm going to be guarding guards and forwards, sometimes big men. So you never know. So I need this clamps badge for guards and small forwards and this rim protector badge for big men. And honestly, I think I'm going to take this rebound chaser badge off because it says ability to chase down rebounds. So that's more for long rebounds. I think the box out badge might be better for me because there are going to be a lot of glass cleaners and stuff with the worm badge. And this box out and the worm badge, those work against each other. So if I have box out silver and somebody has worm silver, those basically cancel out because box out is for boxing out and worm is to try to get around somebody's box out. So I think the box out badge will help, especially against glass cleaners and other big men that can get rebounds much better than I can. So those are going to be my final badges. I have six Hall of Fame badges, four gold, three silver, and one bronze. And now I'm going to choose my jump shot. I'm just going to choose Paul George. I think that's the best jump shot here. And let's get into the game. Green, wow. I didn't even expect to green that shot because I didn't even put difficult shots on this player. I'm going to try to green another three right here. Hopefully Draymond lays off me. I'm shooting that. I'm shooting that. Green, let's go. Wow, I'm really out here calling my greens. I'm going to try to get another one. Let's see. Is Draymond going to guard me? Oh, difficult shots. Green. Oh, my gosh. This build is crazy. I know this difficulty is on rookie, so I probably can't green that. I mean, my build might be able to make that. But I don't know, this demo is kind of weird that it's on Rookie because I don't know what the actual game's like. I don't know if this build can actually make that or green that or what. I got D-Low on me. Okay, I'm, oh, I don't know what I just did. I'm going in the post. Let's see, 95 post fade, 95 post fade, bad release, and it still goes in. Let's go. Okay, I'm going back into the post. Got Draymond on me, good defender. Post fade, oh, bad release. Oh my, these are really going in. D-Fade's Hall of Fame is the move. I am getting really bad releases because I'm not used to the meter or the animations and I'm still hitting. Fade. Ah, uh, that's in, let's go. I'm pulling up, I'm pulling up. Green, wow, 20% covered. That low key looked like it was more than that. Okay, I got five seconds and I'm tired. Whoa, I did not even try to fade that way and I still greened it, okay, I'll take it. Deep fade, that was green? I feel like that wasn't even a full bar. I feel like I let go early and it was still green. Okay. Full spade. Oh, that's early. And it still went in. Let's go. Oh, I got clay on me. Easy money. Easy money. Green. Oh my gosh. Oh, finally I can get an open three. Oh, and I missed. Oh, that went in. Okay. I hope they fixed the stamina on the demo. I heard they're fixing it in general on 2k20 but i don't know if they're gonna fix it in the demo because at the end of the game i'm just getting so many full bars that do not go in so i don't have that tyler scorer badge that's gonna be it for the video as you guys can see i did not shoot too well because i'm not really used to the shot meter yet and it's hard to get open on a stretch big because i don't have dribble animations as you can see in the first quarter i did good second one i did okay and then third quarter i did good fourth quarter i'm gonna just uh not look at that
But anyway, that's gonna be it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been King Josh, and I'm out. Peace.